sounds just like I did, didn't it, guys? No? Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, does that take me back, Paul Stanley. His frontman continues as lead songwriter, driving force for the band after 45 years. He holds a title of rock and roll legend, but what you might not know is he, an, he is also a master painter. He's in our spotlight this morning to talk about a great event happening tomorrow that we are all invited to. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Stanley. Yeah. It is such a pleasure. Everyone was so excited. Our, our Twitter feed blew up when everybody realized that you were coming. Uh, we're going to get to the music in just a minute. Talk about your art. We are blown away. Has this always been a passion? I think art has always been a part of my life, although I didn't start painting until about 16 years ago. I was going through a divorce, and anybody who's done that knows you get tired of throwing things at the wall. <laughs> right. So somebody said to me, paint. And uh, I started, and at first it was really pretty cathartic and, and more stream of consciousness. But as time went on and people saw pieces in my house, people said, who painted that? So uh, at some point, I had uh, the incentive to show my art. And it's been absolutely incredible, not only in terms of, obviously, there's KISS uh, fans who are going to uh, be interested in the art, but uh, serious collectors yes. uh, have been acquiring the pieces, and the, the shows have been phenomenal. Listen, so don't I'm be blessed. modest. Over ten million dollars in art, painting, sculpture. I mean, so this has really become an outlet for you. Well, it's funny because people talk about credibility from being a starving artist. Then I will have no credibility because <laughs> I, I'm not starving. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. But the inspiration is incredible. I like that you said, of course, you have the Kiss memorabilia. Sure. Your fans are going to go crazy for that. But I mean, let's look at the piece on your right. Our director before the show, Emma, uh, was even blown away by the detail in the flowers. I mean, these pieces also speak to people who aren't necessarily a Kiss fan. Well, I, I, I'm very pleased that people who may not even like the band are uh, acquiring art. So for me, uh, doing flowers was interesting because flowers always die. Here's a way you can have flowers. You don't have to water them. Exactly. And they'll be beautiful forever. Exactly. And tell me about this piece, just beautiful. I started painting on uh, plexiglass, on loose side, because you can paint on both sides and create a sense of depth to it. So it's uh, there's, there's freestanding pieces. I do... Uh, flowers actually I do some great flowers and I do stars and I've actually done some commission portraits really yeah okay so you started this 16 years ago yes I, I mean talk it's hard for somebody like myself who has no painting skills so you just started sort of freehanding were there anybody that really inspired you to get you started that sort of you modeled after well that, that's a great question I think that whether you're you're dealing with music or any of the wow. creative areas um, you want to be inspired more than influenced so uh, right. there have been some great inspirations. There, there's so many great artists from, uh, you, you go back to Da Vinci and you, you come up to Jackson ah, Pollock and beautiful. Picasso and, and uh, uh, there's, there's no shortage of, of great artists. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is something that I love and it seems to resonate with other people. Yes, well, of course, your music has resonated as well. Uh, tell me about this upcoming tour. I know everybody was so excited on Twitter. They're like, I hear, in fact, we, we do have a question. I heard the Kiss is planning 2019 tour bigger and badder than anything that's ever been done. Is this true? Kiss die hard since 72, and that is from Shane. Hmm. Um, I think it's, it's gotten uh, quite a bit more uh, publicity than necessary. Of course we're going to tour. We always tour. Yes. And do we want to do the biggest show we've ever done? Of course. Yeah. That's, I know fans are so excited about. Um, you have the, the older fans, mm. like our generation, who grew up listening to you. But what I love is when we have local talent that come on the show, you're inspiring them as well. And, and before the show, you were talking to me about some of your influences growing up. Sure. Tell me more about that. Um, I, I, I think that uh, there's only two kinds of music. There's good and bad. Right. And it, it's important for everybody to listen to as much music as possible, whether, uh, you know, if you love blues, you should also listen to show tunes. You should listen to opera. Uh, everything that you, you uh, take in will influence what you're doing. It gives you a, a deeper foundation. So uh, I grew up listening to, as I said, show tunes, opera. Um, I listened to Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, uh, Solomon Burke, The Temptations, uh, 
you know, there's just so much great music to be heard and to be had. Um, I just urge everybody to find something they love doing because if you find something you love doing, you'll never have to work. You'll, yeah. you'll find a passion, whether it's music, art, um, whatever it is, I have faith in you that you can find something oh, that you deserve to do. Oh, I love that. Melvin wants to know, um, is there any country you haven't played before um, that you'd like to play for the first time, perhaps Southeast Asia? Again, that's Melvin on our Twitter feed. Thank you so much, Melvin. Um, I've been fortunate to go to a lot of great countries. Um, Japan is always uh, very interesting. Australia is, is a phenomenal, phenomenal country. And uh, Italy is, is, is just beautiful. So um, you should travel. And, and the more you travel, the more you're going to find out that we live in the greatest country on earth. Yeah. That, that this is, uh, you know, truly, truly uh, uh, the country that, that uh, covets and protects freedom. Yeah. And also we should always remember that the people who keep us free are the military. Yeah. And everything we can do to support them is, is very, very important. Absolutely. Last question. This one's a little close to home for my brother Mario. I text him, told him you were on. He says, who is Dr. Love about? I, I don't really know because it's not my song. But my understanding is it was actually a play on a, a, a Three Stooges segment, which, <laughs> which, which I'm not really that familiar with. Oh, really? But, um, I think there was a, they were in a hospital and it's calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine or some, something, but it, it, it's not my song, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, the, the mystique remains, though. I'm, an, I'm not going to tell the Three Stooges story. I like just him yes. not knowing, right? Yeah. And lastly, how can everybody come out and see you support the art uh, tomorrow? Where are you going to be? I'll be at uh, Wentworth Gallery at uh, Phipps Plaza. And uh, I'll be there from 5 to 8. Now, uh, of course, with the, the turnout of people, it's impossible for me to meet everybody. Aww. But certainly I will come out and, and say hi to everybody. And if you uh, purchase something, then, of course, we get a chance to, to spend some time and take yeah. a photo and, and do things like that. And whether or not you like my art, you can always paint your own. So oh, I love that. Um, Go be creative. Yeah, well, you are such an inspiration, and you've been so gracious to all of us here. Uh, best of luck in your continued endeavors. And, of course, as he said, come out, meet him tomorrow, buy his art, 5 to 8 Wentworth Gallery. That's located at Phipps Plaza. RSVP right now. It's 404-233-0903.